Adventurous people. Um, this afternoon we're having a look at the, the first of the rescue cactus that I bought home the other day. Um, I know which ones I wanted to start with but I thought I'd better start with the ones that look like they need the most attention. So, now I don't know anything more other than or anything more than you do about what's the state of these are like. I've not taken anything out of any pots. So this is this is all new to me and you, so we'll have a look at it together. The first one didn't appear to have any pot on there. No, it hasn't. So it was just put into a flower pot. It looks like at some stage it's toppled over and fallen out of its pot. Um, I treated for mealy bugs yesterday with some uh, bug clear, but the first thing I can see down here is what looks like a few more mealy bug um, cocoons so um, I'll be spraying that as well as the um, treatment I'll give it a little spray with um, dilute methylated spirits and so what we got we've got um, nice label not a cactus claviceps this label backs up the name and it says Ash Parish or Ash Porsche or something like that. February 1999. So it gives you a, an idea that this is over 20 years old and it looks like it's quite, quite possibly quite a bit older. So um, first thing I want to do is get the old compost off the roots. Uh, I might need to put my other glove on as well for this. Uh, before you start something like this, have some a few tools handy, like a pokey stick, some large forceps, or something like that, and at least some decent gloves. Uh, yeah, it's <coughs> it's not a deep-rooted one by the looks of it. Uh, putting your gloves on, you can't pick up your stick, which is good. Uh, let's get what we can with the, the old composting top dressing off. Uh, it will definitely need some fresh compost even if there's nothing uh, else wrong with the roots at this stage. Um, I do have a magnifying glass handy just in case there's anything I need a closer look at but uh, I'm not too worried if I find mealy bugs in the roots because so I say I gave them a dose of bug clear yesterday which should sort everything out. Uh, but even when I've done that, um, when I've finished this repotting, I'll still put these uh, away from the other plants for a while, just to be on the safe side. And yeah, it's coming away nicely, it's got some nice solid roots on it. Now, I won't strip it down completely, so I'm anxious to uh, get into some fresh compost and give it a chance to uh, recover. I really, I don't know how long this has been left in a pot after falling out. I just know it is probably under a bit of stress. So, uh, yeah, get the bulk of the old stuff off there and uh, that compost will go somewhere <coughs> away from all the other plants. Now I've chosen a nice big pot and yeah, it's going to take a lot of compost in there, but I think that's a, a decent sized pot for it. So, ooh, that's about, we'll just fill most of that straight out of the bucket. I've got a mixture of um, Ziggy's number one, some um, perlite and grit in this one. Quite a lot in there. Give it something to get its roots into and recover. So, that's a bit. No messing about, let's just get him in there. <coughs> Make a depression there. And let's see him in nicely. That could probably do with filling out a bit better. I'll bring it up with the top dressing as well. Good shape to separate in. I'll 
of water him in um, a week or so, just in case I've damaged the roots at all. So, right, that's that one. I won't top dress him now. That's going to need more top dressing than I've got handy. Now, the other one is this one here. No idea what it is. And he looks under a lot of stress. But there's still some green. He's um, got quite a bit of dye back on the, uh, the ribs there. But he's not dead, so let's, let's get, the, get him out of the pot and have a look at the roots. And yeah, he's been in there for quite a while. He's filled the pot quite nicely. Ow. And these gloves do let some of the spines through. He's quite dry despite uh, I gave him bug clear and a good drenching yesterday, but it didn't really soak it in. Uh, yeah, the roots look fine. I can't see any infestation there. He might just be suffering from a lack of food. If someone stuck us in a pot for 10-20 uh, years and didn't feed us, we probably wouldn't look too good either. Um, right, that's that one. And I've got a slightly smaller pot for that one with a crock in the bottom. That should be fine. So, and there. be uh, a bit of fun trying to get an ID on these. He says throwing compost all over the place. Move that there. Oops, sorry, I jogged the camera there. A bit more on there. And he just will be fine. Now, temptation is with this one because the roots were so dry, the other one was quite wet. Um, is to water and be damned. I would leave it uh, a week or so. But uh, I might not be doing him any favours in this case. Let's, I do have some top dressing for this one. Just, uh, a little bit of granite. I can't remember where this granite came from, I think we, uh, it was probably the bottom of a bag we got from a nursery quite a while ago. I generally uh, sieve the top dressings out of uh, bulk bags of sand, because it's cheaper like that. Okay, yep, there we have it. He's in. There's quite a bit of dye back around the top, but um, I think I will water it. But it'll be interesting to see if he recovers. It'd be nice if he does. Right, that's two. There's about 25-30 uh, of them to go. So at least we've made a start. Thank you for watching that one. I'll keep you updated with the others.